Hello guys and welcome. So we're doing a presentation article 220 and we're covering wall mount oven ranges and cooked up appliances. So this presentation was brought to you by the Vigilance Society of Engineers. All right. So before we proceed, we want you to subscribe and give us like, right? Because we're trying to give you more videos like this. Okay. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and give us a like, all right? So let's go. Okay guys, so we're gonna calculate the demand for 20 single piece, 12 kilowatt, 108 volts ranges on a three phase service. All right, for a question like this, we should establish balance with phases. Okay, so we have 20 units and we're going to spread them evenly between phase 1, 2 and 3. So the first phase we might use 7 units, second um, 7 and the third 6. Okay, and then that follow by finding the average between the two phases for the kilowatt um hour or the kilowatt value that is required so phase one and two would add those two values so in total we have 14 units all right of ranges now if we should go to table 220.5 you can extrapolate a value for 14 units at 12 kilowatt okay so that is taken from column c and that value is 29 kilowatt then the average kilowatt load is determined per phase and for each phase we would determine that value by dividing that value taken for 14 units by 2 so per phase it's gonna be 14.5 kilowatt and then if we should find the total demand for the 20 unit all we got to do is times 14.5 units per phase times 3 okay so we already spread all the units in the phases a maximum of 20 therefore times 3 by 14.5 kilowatt per phase that would have given us 43.5 kilowatts okay guys so we're gonna do this simple question all right so it goes like this what's the demand for 12 3.25 oven all right so this question all we got to do is go to table 20 55 to extract the value all right so where we have 12 3.25 oven we're gonna look in column a and then we're going to um determine the value for 3.5 kilowatt oven at 12 units right so we're gonna look at the number 12 and then we're gonna look at column a and the demand taken for that value right for 12 units we need a demand of 45 percent okay so 12 times 0.25 kilowatt times 0.45 should give us a final value of 17.55 kilowatt as a minimum value required per load all right so that's it so i'm going to move to the next question so the next question is what is the demand for eight units of several kilowatt countertop cooked up all right so let's look at the demand for eight units of kitchen cook appliance we have eight units times seven kilowatt times the demand right 
we go to the table for 2055 find the demand for 8 units at 7 kilowatts right so this value is extrapolate from column B and we are we are able to get um, 20.16 kilowatts right so it's required a load of 20.16 kilowatts we drive 8 ranges at 7 kilowatts oh. Okay guys, next question. What is the calculated feeder demand for one 12 kilowatt ranges and six kilowatt cooktop? All right, so in this case, we're going to use node three, all right? And again, for this question, we have to calculate each appliance separately and take the demand for each one. All right, so for the 12 kilowatt range, we're going to go to column C and then we're going to find the value for um, 12 kilowatt range, all right, for that minimum demand. Okay, so that value for one unit is 8 kilowatt, all right, and then the next unit that is a cooktop. We're going to consider the demand for one six kilowatt. All right. So we're going to um, look for this demand value. So for the six kilowatt hooked up, we're going to extrapolate the value taken from column B. All right. So that is a demand factor of 0.8, or we said 80%. Okay, so that value is 4.8 when we calculate it. Okay, so the total demand per load for this feeder, all right, that's supposed to supply our um, 12 kilowatt ranges and six kilowatt hooked up. But we had the total values for the demand for the 12 kilowatt we're looking at 8 and the 6 kilowatt 4.8 it would finally result in a demand of 12.8 kilowatt all right so that is how we break down this particular question okay guys so the next question is what's the branch circuit demand for load for a 13.60 kilowatt range in a dwelling unit, right? So if you go to table 220.55, right? We can only get 12 kilowatts, and we are limited to go in excess of that value. So for a range of 13.60 kilowatts. We are only able to take the first 12 kilowatt, right, from table 220.5, 5, rather, and that value per demand for a maximum of 12 kilowatt is 8 kilowatt, all right? Now, note 1 from article 220 states that for every rise in kilowatt, we should times 5%, all right? So if we have an excess of 1.6 kilowatt, which we can round off to roughly two kilowatt, that value would give us a rise per kilowatt at 10%, all right? So, 1.6 times 5, which is approximately 10%, would, us, would rather give us that demand that we're looking for. All right? So we're going to see at least our demand increase by 110%. 
So as I said, for the first 12 kilowatt is 8 kilowatt per demand, right? So for the feeder demand, all we got to do is times 8 times the percentage change, which is 10% by the 8 kilowatt. All right, so we said 8 times 1.10, which is equal to 8.8 kilowatt. Right, so that take care of this question. Okay, so next. Okay, guys, so we're gonna look at range put and demand again. Now, say we have a range of 8.5 kilowatt and we need to find the demand for this range, right? So we simply go to table 2055 and um, we extract the value, right? So this value falls under column C. Right? So the demand for one unit of 8.5 kilowatt range would have be 8 kilowatt, right? So this range would fall for the demand or um, range that is less than 12 kilowatt, all right? So because it's one unit extracted from this table, the demand would have been 8 kilowatt. So the next question is, what is branch circuit demand for 6 kilowatt oven, one 3.5 kilowatt cooktop, and a 3 kilowatt range? All right. So looking at this question, the first thing we should do is to extrapolate the value from 220.55. All right, so for example though, we have these units of six kilowatt, 3.5 kilowatt, and um, three eight kilowatt ranges, all right? So we're gonna use node three and then Note three, right, from article 220 um, states that when the units of ratings one three quarter kilowatt to eight and three quarter kilowatt um, of the cooking unit or kitchen equipment, right, we should add all the values and find the demand from 220. All right, so what we're going to do is to take the summations of all these values and then we're going to times it by the demand in column B. All right, so if none of these values were to find itself in column A or B, we should take the, the demand factor in this column, all right? So we have values between six and eight, or rather 3.5 to eight. So we're gonna use demand factor in column B, e, all right? So, for the two six oven unit plus one 3.5 kilowatt cooktop plus three eight kilowatt ranges, we're gonna times that demand by what we get in the table, all right? So under column B, what we get is 0 0.43. So this value now, we're gonna times it by the total summation of all the units, which is 39.5, all right? And that value left us with 17 kilowatt. All right, so we're gonna go to the next, next one. 
Okay, guys, so we want to find the demand for 12 single phase 14 kilowatt ranges on a 208 volts three phase service. The first thing we want to do is to establish the balance between the phase. So we must first balance out phase 1, 2, and 3. For the 12 units so in each phase we want to place four units all right and in the second phase we want to determine now the average and the second step rather we want to determine that average between two phases all right so between two phases a total of eight units of 12 kilowatt range max can be used to determine from table 20 all right so this means we must account for two kilowatts more so for eight unit at 12 kilowatts that is equal to 23 kilowatts as taken from table 2.95 and we said for every one kilowatt increase we times five percent all right and two kilowatt more equivalent to 10 percent rise therefore for the demand that we have calculated our xr um taken from the table which is 23 kilowatts we want to times the increase that we're going to get from the what more remember i said five percent is the increase per kilowatt so we have two kilowatt therefore two times five which is ten so we have a ten percent increase all right so all we have to do now is so times 23 times 110 percent we should have resulted us getting 25.3 kilowatts and of course that is a demand for the two phase so if you want to find the average demand for phase you want to divide 25.3 by 2 so that would have given us 12.65 kilowatt phase therefore for three phase the load demand right is three times 12.65 that value is 37.95 kilowatt so this can represent for maximum of 12 or four, rather 12 units of 14 kilowatt all right so that is all to break down these are this particular question all right so the average demand is 37.95 for 14 kilowatt ranges. That is of 12, 12 units. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching our presentation. Before you go, hit that subscribe button and give us a like. All right? And you can also share this presentation with a friend. All right? So, I want to continue to give you presentation like this so stay tuned for more and make sure you um hit the so notification bell so once a new video is out you can first get it thank you